Welcome to YouTube, welcome to another channel, welcome to another, another video actually. And today I'm going to detail uh, an engine bay, uh, at least clean as much, um, you know, dust and dirt off as much as I can. Uh, you just got to watch uh, the electrical parts, but I'm going to start by just spraying down all of the parts that I can see that are a bit dusty and dirty, especially this part here, what's going on there? See that the dirt built up everywhere but yeah much as I can and keep spraying. Alrighty, so I got bottle brush or hard bottle brush, um, paint brush. I've got um, some detergent, soap detergent, and I just lathered everywhere. Now these Bosch connectors are pretty great; they don't really soak up a lot of water. Um, and when I'm spraying uh, it all down, so I've actually just um, did my best to. Uh, dry everything now. I don't, I don't have an air compressor or anything like that so I just get in there with a rag and clean as much and dry as much as I can because as, as you can see this part here um, soaks up a lot of water but having said that it's it's made a bit of a difference in the way that um, it now looks less dustier and less oily. I don't know, there's all this oily residue everywhere. I'm going to just have a look at the PCV system. Uh, I've got a spare set somewhere. So while I'm servicing the car, I'm going to remove all this plastic bit here. And if everyone's seen, well, you should have seen my um, PCV video. I'm going to do the exact same here. Just remove the plastics, have a look at and see uh, if the one-way valve is uh, working, if it is, great. If not, then I will see uh, what's going on there. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to uh, clean as much as I can off. Uh, it just looks like it's leaking somewhere. Like, I don't know what's going on with this uh, power steering. Like, is it why? Why is it leaking up here? You know what I mean? Like, it shouldn't be leaking stuff there. I'm gonna clean it up and see what's happening. I'm gonna have a look at the power steering just quickly. That's got stuff in there. That's great. doesn't need to be tight but I do need to get rid of as much crap as I can off this right but as I was saying these are the tools I've used uh, I've not really you know taped off any electrical stuff um, there's covers on it already I just didn't focus the rinsing spray on too much of the um, uh, the electrical side of things, I just, you know, did around the engine as best as I could, ragged off the rest and got the, you know, the dust off it, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing because otherwise it's just too dusty, like I don't want to work on a dusty engine so first things first, clean the engine down from the top I'll jack up the car at some stage, hose the bottom um, part down as well 
change the uh, that looks new so that's new coolant but I'll, I'll change the oil change the filter um, and then see what's uh, what's leaking down there because there is a leak can't see where it is but at the bottom where the dog bone mount is that's there's oil down there so I'm gonna assume that just where the block is here there's probably oil oh, there's no oil but yeah, I'll do a review on this car soon, but I just wanted to show you what I do first before working on any car. Um, just clean it down, dust it. It's just, it's no good working on dirty, dirty cars. So, but that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, it's just a quick, you know, what I do to clean the engine bay. Um, and you can do this day to day. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just to keep the engine bay clean is good enough. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.